What's up, what's up, what's up? I'm Ashe Khan, the Gorilla King. This is the Black Diamond training. I hope y'all ready for this. This is five days of fire. Y'all know how I like to do it. So we done broke this down into five days. After this five days, y'all gonna be a total different monster. I'm talking about your whole entire life is gonna change. I promise you that. If you take what I'm telling you and you apply it, your life is gonna change. So these trainings are interactive. So if you missed this one, you want to make sure you get on the next one because what's happening? You can ask questions in real time. So these trainers, this training right here, like if you're watching it, we shot it now and you're getting trained from this. So people going to be getting trained off of this. You could come on, you could be asking questions so you get a better understanding. You'll get a head start and be able to get a bunch of money. Uh, it's not even all about money. You get the results that come with being skilled. Um, this is, this is, um, I'm gonna just go back a little bit about me. I started making music and I put my first album out in 2001. You know what I'm saying? And that was a, a hit. Uh, it was like an underground hit. I had stuff going to radio. I ended up doing a video. That was a hit. I ended up getting my own reality show. From I was traveling. I got my own reality show. I had the first black reality show in Detroit. You know what I'm saying? It was like one of the first ones in the country that was like it was right after Flavor of uh, Flay did his. We had that one. And then, uh, you know, just keep going from there. I start producing for, for Comcast. I end up putting hood chicks out. You know what I'm saying? It just came on Tubi. So we put that out as a reality show 10 years ago. But I just keep pushing the brand and it keep going. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm doing now is I'm taking and I've been creating a lot of uh, 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 influencers, man, who really have a, an impact in the industry. And I work with a lot of celebrities to not only catapult them, them, them but take them and kind of mold them so that they can go different ways so i work with different people in different ways so if i'm working with a carl Payne, i'm not teaching them nothing i'm learning you know what i'm saying but, but when i'm going to other people i'm able to take what i learned from dealing with carl Payne and share that with other people uh, so when i go with spanky i'm not teaching spanky shit i'm learning and then i can come and i can come and i can share what i'm learning with other people so this right here is is me taking all of my best stuff and putting it in one simple package for you guys so you guys could use it and get success. So that's that's pretty much what we're going with the God Body community. So let's go into the God Body community. So the God Body community is the community around the, the, the whole statement of it's not good that man should be alone. So <laughs> for one, it's a community so people could come. You know, you got men and we're working on them becoming more successful, being you know, better men, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and they got a whole movement called Divestors now, black women that's not dealing with men. They like, they just not gonna share no resources. They not gonna do nothing. And then I'm like, okay, that's cool. It's enough females for black men, but at the same time, let's get the brothers together. You know what I'm saying? It's only us here. We're gonna work together and we're gonna figure it out. But at the same time, you're gonna wanna have women in that environment. They, the goddesses that's gonna be around the guy. So the God, that's what make the God body, you feel me? That's uh that that's gonna help the movement grow and thrive. Cause a man, what is a man without a woman? God already said it's not good the man should be alone. I just seen something earlier. It say women come whole. You know, they took the man, they, they took the rib out of man. So now you gotta have your, your rib back. But the woman come whole because she got the rib and that's who she is. She just is who she is. We not the same, you know what I'm saying? But in this movement. You know, it's going to be women that want to come and be a part and help black men come up so that us as a whole entire people could come up. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a whole community of us. I see us differently. And I'm going to just break real quick. And this is the core philosophy behind uh, this God body movement. When we was brought here, you know, some people believe we wasn't brought over on ships. They got all these manifestos and the ports and everything. You can still see the people at the bottom of the water. So. Uh, they brought us over here, my people, over on ships, and then they disconnected us from our history, right? So we over here, so we don't know nothing. We can't, there's no way that we could go back and say we any other people on the planet because they disconnected us from that, or we disconnected ourselves because what happened? We start intermingling and marrying. So we can't even separate. If you separate yourself from your fathers that was having sex with your mothers or your grandfathers or great-great, if you separate yourself, you divide it still. So you want to embrace all of your ethnicities 
So when we was created over here, you know, it was a breeding process. 300 years of breeding the best with the best with the best with the best and certain other races and stuff, just the best. And then that's, that's the process. After that 300 years, they abolished slavery. Slavery still went on another 100 years. But after that 300 years, you see all these people that were former slaves being the best on the planet. You got Muhammad Ali beating everybody up. Jesse Owens outrunning everybody. We did a basketball team, the USA basketball team, mostly black people killed the whole planet. It was like because the people that was created out of that thing are a different type of people. I call us the diamond people. But when I was <laughs> because of the process and we still here, like who handling that pressure? You know what I'm saying? They got a thing with the Incredible Hawk. It's a European guy. He stubbed his toe too hard. He turned into this thing and he you take Superman. You can't kill him or nothing. He just turned in rage. You know what I'm saying? But you got another people that's been put through so much but that came out a different type of way. And I'm just calling it black diamond people because my man was like diamond. He just, he was masculine. He didn't want to, he didn't all the way identify with the diamond. I was like, what about the black diamond? And then he was like, okay, you feel me? So black diamond people, that's why it's the black diamond program because of the process that you guys are about to go through to get to the top of this thing. Oh yeah, it's going to be work. It's going to be effort. It's going to be good. And it's going to be challenging. But it's rewards, merit as you go up. You actually get to see yourself succeeding and having this success and, you know, getting the accolades of the community uh, pushing you on. They fanning your frame. Everybody working as towards one goal. It's like now you got breath and oxygen in the community. We got a community center over here on Dexter and in, uh, in Detroit right now. We just bought a funeral home. We turn it into the community center for the, the community center for the God body community. So this is the thing where you guys are coming in as brand ambassadors and getting to be the face of a movement because it's a movement where we're trying to lift the people, but people want to see somebody. And the Bible was a story about one of the people, he was tall. So they was like, we want a king. They, they just picked a tall guy, like, look, he tall, let's put him. But it, you know, so, uh, uh, the prophet was saying, hey, why do they Why do they need another God, God? I mean, why do they need a king, God? Because you, they king. But he, they was, God was like, they want a person to stand right there. And that's what they want. Just let them go ahead and do it. So then now you got the tall guy that was the uh, king. You know what I'm saying? Saul was the king, whatever. So point being, when, when, when it's a movement like this and it's such power and positivity, this, it could be transferred into a face. Imagine your face being, okay, it's the God body movement. Yeah, this is God body. You see what I'm saying? So let's go into some of the some of the strategy we about to go into here. I'm going to go into the training on how this is going to take you and your personal brand and it's going to, it's going to just give it an amplification. And then you're going to have the machine of all of the, the community, not just the God body community, but the whole of all the networks that I represent is going to be pushing this movement. So with you on your face, I'm going to go into the taxes of how it is going to be so powerful in, in uh, of a movement for you and for me and for everybody involved. So let's get into this. I want to just take this off. I'm sweating already. I'm hot, man. <laughs> I'm going in. All right, so let's talk about the Dream 100. I want to get right into the strategy. So the strategy is uh, Dream 100, Drill 100, right? So this strategy, I'm going to lay it out for you guys over five days, over these five days. I'm going to give you a piece every day for the first three days. On the fourth day, we're going to put all the pieces together and go over it and role play and use it with each other. And on the fifth day, we're going to sit right there and go right in and we're going to be going in with it right there where we all right there. So this is, to me, this is super exciting. So anyway, but today we're going to start with the Dream 100, Drill 100. So what is the Dream 100, Drill 100? <laughs> so the Dream 100 is a concept that comes down from this rich guy, billionaire guy, named Russell Brunson, he did clicks funnel. And he say, find a hundred of the people that got your dream customer, whatever it is you do, whoever your, cool, your dream fan is, find a hundred of them people that already got your dream fans in their fan base, already congregated there. So like, if, I, if I'm doing hood chicks, it'd be Cardi B. So I'll find, well, Cardi B got all my fans. So I will reach out to Cardi B and try to network with Cardi B to see if she will push the guy by the, or the hood chicks brand with her following. So this, I'm just taking hood chicks. What up though? <laughs> I'm just taking, I'm just taking hood. I'm in the middle of the training. What's happening though? Come on in. Let me see if you met me or whatever. My face just went small. Hold on. How do I, <laughs> hold on. We got to get my face back big one second. Hold on. <laughs> 
But good to see you on here. Ah, uh, forget it. I'm gonna just keep going. What's your name? Brandy. Brandy. What's happening, Brandy? Okay, good to see you on here. We're going into a training. I'm talking about the Dream 100, Drill 100, right? Okay. So imagine you got. So we about to promote, right? So let's say we promoting hood chicks. You heard about hood chicks yet? Yes. Okay, hood chicks just hit Tubi, right? So imagine we promoting hood chicks and we like, okay, first step, we want to find a hundred people that got people that already got the people we looking for. Like Cardi B, she already got a whole bunch of people that are probably love hood chicks already. So right. we can get Cardi B to scream hood chicks real quick. We're going to have a whole bunch of people come watch hood chicks, right? So the Dream 100 strategy is basically finding 100 people like that and reaching out. But I switched it a little bit. So we about to go into how I switched it and what we about to do uh, to, to create this movement right here. Are you with it? You with me? Yes, definitely. I see you right here. All right. So I love your smile, too. That's dope. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So the way I switched the Dream 100 over to our Dream 100 is we're going to reach out to 100 people every day. Because this is going to build. So I'm going to reach out to 100 people because what I'm doing, I'm building my brand with my following. I'm making my own friends that's already that's connected through me. But when you promoting as a brand ambassador for us, you reaching out to 100 people, but they still your friends. These are all people that's going to still be connected through you. You see what I'm saying? So what we do, uh, my dream 100 is I visualize who do I want to be my friends that's around me, around me, my family, my kids that I'm hanging out with a bunch that I'm in public with. If I could just take a type of people, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to put that as my dream 100 for the day. And I'm going to reach out to a hundred of them type of people. Do that make sense? No, it definitely does. Yeah. yeah I do marketing for companies. So I, def I get it. Okay. You do marketing for companies? Yeah. What kind of marketing do you do for companies? Um, so I just basically test out their products and um, I advertise and market them. I, you know, do coupon codes and everything for TikTok, Amazon. Oh, okay. Coupon codes, all of that, advertising and marketing. That's big. Okay, cool. It's good to see you on a team right here. See, we're about to get it. <laughs> all right. So, <laughs> yeah, and this is going to be a replay. So people getting to know you, uh, people coming through, they're going to be watching this training. So, okay. so with the Dream 100, uh, now we got a hundred people that we reaching out to, but then when we talking to them, what are we saying? Are we just saying anything? Nope. Uh-uh. See, I come from movies. I like to work off of a script. Don't that make sense? No, it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> no so, surprises. <laughs> this is a script. It's going to get the same type of result all the time. And then you can work on it. You can get better with your character once you got the script. I got, you know, if I'm doing movies, I got the same, I'm bringing my same movie format into this world. And that's why it's successful. So I, I, we got a script. It's four questions. Okay. We done found the most powerful thing that we could do. A, a, I don't know if you know about sales and closing, but it's a four question close. So you ask them four questions and then you see if they want to be a part. That's it. That's the whole of the system. Ask them four questions. See if, so that's called the drill 100. So this is the way I learned to work a script when I'm, when I'm getting money, right? And this is, this is the key to the system right here. Like I had a rich guy. This is the first guy, one of my first friends that got rich. He was selling stuff. What up, though, Cheddar? Hello. What up, though, Cheddar? Hello. I see you on here with your head like that. <laughs> Why? So look, so my friend, what he did was he had a script. He just had one sheet. It was a one sheet script. And he was doing loans. And he would start reading the script at the top and he would be reading that shit slow as hell. I'm like, what is he doing? But he'd be reading the script. And then if somebody asked him something or say a question or anything, he'd stop reading the script and start talking with him. Like just regular chatting. And then when when it got to the little spot, he'd go right back to the script where he was at and keep reading all the way down to the end of that script. He gonna get to the bottom. If you stop him again, he gonna stop and he gonna, you know, he gonna kick it and chill. You know what I'm saying? But he going to get back to the bottom because the thing is getting that decision. Yes or no? Most people are bullshit on the decision. Or you get to talk and got to get off the phone. You can't. No, get the decision. So the key to the Dream 100, Drill 100, find a hundred people that you want to be friends with. Read, them, read the four questions and see if they want to be a part of what we got going on. So that's the Dream 100, Drill 100. Is that is that complicated? Y'all got that? 
No, I got it. It's not complicated. Okay, so since we got you on here, I'm about to ask you some questions about the Dream 100, Dream 100. Is that all right? Shut up, I'm going to ask you some questions too. You on here? Yep, I'm on here. All right, I'm so, just the kids, so I got my camera off. <laughs> all right, that's cool. So if we got, so if we doing, if we doing a dream one hundred, right? So I got in my mind the type of people that I want to be my friends, that I want to hang around, that I want to be in my movies, that I want to, you know, what I'm saying, be seen out in public with, that I want to represent the brand. I already got a type of people in my head. So I, I like exotic women. Exotic women is one. Me, I like women with a big butt, so I'm gonna have that's two. So if you exotic, oh, you got a big butt, those is two. And then I like the guys, I'm looking at how everything is going like Ken Barbie. I'm like, if I could get a black Ken to represent the shit like Darius Blackman, to me, it's like he's the perfect representative. So I fuck with Darius because that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? So those are the three types of people that's mostly on my radar. So as I'm going through my day, I'm going to hit up 100 people. Just like if I'm scrolling through my feed and somebody pop out and they look like that. Or if I go in a group, I look at the members and they look like that. Or some people that's already that I know already. I'm hitting 100 of them up every day. You see what I'm saying? Right. So who would be some type of people that you would reach to, to be in your circle of friends? Um... What kind of traits and characteristics if we was designing your avatar who you're reaching out to? People I will be reaching out to is other people um, who already have businesses or kind of know a little bit about networking with businesses. Um, I like that. That's know about of... business, know about networking with business. That makes sense. They're going to have money and they're going to have an interest in what we do. Okay. That yeah. makes a lot of sense. Okay. Um, I'm kind of I'm a mom, so I kind of network with moms. Um, moms, so that's good. Moms, and you're a mom. Okay, I hope you're a good mom. I'm assuming you're a good mom. You're awesome mother. <laughs> you say it. Okay, there well, we go. Facts. So I network okay. with mothers. Um, other group of people I would reach out to would be. Jetta is a good mom too. Thank you. <laughs> I put mine to bed before this meeting. Like, look here. <laughs> That's cool. So, so what, I, <laughs> what I see is that, like, the even what, how men and women look for people are different. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm looking for, like, physical characteristics that I can promote. You looking for characteristics to build relationships on a different level that, that vibrate at a different level. You right. See what I'm saying? Okay, that's cool. <laughs> so that's why we got a community because all of that will pull all the right people in. You see what I'm saying? Right. Cheddar, who would, like your dream 100, who would be in your dream 100, Cheddar? What you mean, who would be in it? Okay, let me back up a little bit. So the dream 100, it's like, okay, I'm going to back all the way up to dream 100. Well, I got the concept from this a billionaire guy. He said, if you want to promote, he say find 100 people that got your fans already in their fan base. And then you work on getting them to promote your shit. So it'll be like either where you, you, you just ask them to do it or you would do something free for them or you would pay them or you would just go target their fans directly, but you know how to get to them. But he say, find a hundred people that's at the top or where you're trying to go. I'm like, okay, I got a different dream 100 for my brand ambassadors is find a hundred people that you want to build your life around. My man was messing with some females that he didn't really, he didn't really want them, but he didn't know how to stop dealing with them. But then once I got him to look at it, he had a daughter. And he could see how his daughter was getting older, recognizing the type of women he was bringing around. And I'm like, she's going to probably form the, like the women that you're bringing around because you don't have a wife. That's the only person she's going to see to form like. And that broke him like, hold up. Let me hold. Now he could see a reason not to deal with a certain type of people. And now he could start to visualize the type of people he want to bring around based off of how he want his daughter to grow. You see what I'm saying? So, so that was that was a big revelation to me for my dream 100. Who do I want around me in my in and in, in being influential to the people that's coming up around me? You see what I'm saying? So that's what the basis of this dream 100. So every day I'm gonna reach out to 100 people, brand building my network full of these type of people. Eventually, I'm gonna have all these people just all around. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like what's like somebody you would that that you would consider somebody that would be in your dream one hundred? Like how would you design an avatar? What, who would it be? What would it be like? 
I don't know. You. <laughs> Whoa, awesome answer. Could you have given a, a better fucking answer? I don't know. <laughs> so, all right, cool, man. So, so let's go to that. If, if this is a training, so I'm going to be running this back. So this was the Dream 100 part. This is going to be like a 30, 35, 40 minute meeting. I'm going to go ahead and roll to the next part. Now, the thing that's in it for my brand ambassadors, of course, you're promoting it. You're going to learn this strategy and then it's going to be some other things that you're going to get out of it. For one thing is that uh, uh, while I'm using these movie promotion strategies, I'm putting out flyers. I'm putting out posters. I'm running advertising all over social media. I'm going to be using you guys' face. So you might you might see a flyer like an event coming up. We're going to have a flyer with you guys on it with our event. So y'all are brand ambassadors. I'm going to be promoting y'all like I would be promoting a star in my movie. I'm trying to get y'all on podcasts. I have big posters and I have people putting them in gas stations and stuff saying the God body community is here. Come be a part. So y'all going to get the machine like that behind me. I'm also thinking... Music videos. If anybody come in the community, they want to do music and music videos about the shit we doing in the community. Hey, we're going to make it to where they could get it done. You can get a music video done. You're going to get help putting it out through here. That's another thing that's big. But the thing that's really got me fired up, I called, I called Darius today on this. I'm like, I'm thinking about doing a God body series, a web series, and then turning it into a full series. Later, but right now, I start as a web series, see how it goes, see how people respond, and see if, if the people is engaged and it's going good. If it's going real good, we could transition, do the movie, put it on Tubi. And then if that go good, then just keep it rolling and roll it into a series for Tubi. You see what I'm saying? Just a rolling like that. So th these are the types of things that I think add a lot of benefit for somebody looking to be a brand ambassador. Not only do you get the experience but dealing with us as, as a community and using strategies that we know work because I've been promoted over 20 years. So not only do you get the benefit of that experience, you get the benefit of being on the damn promotion. You know, we got a good promotion. When you see our movies, that's the way we, we got promotions that look like movies. You know what I'm saying? We doing movie scenes with people. So I think that's a really valuable. How do you feel about that, Brandy? About if you was in a, in a web series of called The God Body? That would be dope. I'm not gonna lie. That would that would shoot my brand to another level. Um, so I, I would love that. And then I we could get the character kind of close to 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 how you are, but in a way to where it's the way you would like everybody to perceive you. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Take your brand <laughs> to another level, Cheddar. What you thinking? What are you thinking, Cheddar? About Cheddar already been on camera a bunch of times. What are you thinking about it, Cheddar? <laughs> okay, professional. <laughs> Uh huh. Try to go over there with the kids. It's all right. No, but I could say I adapt in any type of you know situation. Yeah, for sure, for sure. All right, so now I'm gonna move to the next. So that's the visual strategy and in a in a in promotion strategy. I'm gonna be using my movie promotion strategy and uh with, with a lot of visual stuff, and then uh I'm going into actually putting out the movie type content. So that's what I'm thinking with my brand ambassadors. And now let's go. It's a word in movies called continuity. This is, a, this is a big word in movies. Continuity is like if you see a 2B movie and one second he over here like this with a hat on and then the next scene he over here without a hat on. He was like, damn, that nigga just had the hat on, but he don't have a hat on. You see what I'm saying? Because the continuity is off. So somebody wasn't paying attention or they didn't shot it at different times. And when they get to edit it, they don't have enough footage. So they done just had to put that shit on there anyway and it don't go. The uh, continuity is off. But it's a it's a term, another term of, of, of continuity of when we build in this community. Continuity is the is the meat of the thing, but I don't want to I don't want it to seem like it's just consistency, like oh, it's the same. Continuity actually, it actually take it up to another level. When I'm looking at it, it could get boring like this. If it switch, that'll keep my attention. But if it's switching, it's it's off, then it go down. If it's switching, it's the same. It go like this, and it's still gonna go down. But the continuity is actually a thing of when it switch or when it go to it go to the next level up and keep people involved and keep them engaged. So it's not like okay, this happened and then this happened. No, it's like this happened. Therefore, this happened. You know what I'm saying? Like what? And then when that happens, so then this happens. So continuity keeps it exciting and keep it moving forward. And that's what that's what we building into this community. So. The, the consistency, but also taking it to the next level. 
And that's when we get into money, continuity is going to be the key to how all the money work and how people are actually going to make money with this movement promoting it. And I'll get to that in a second. But uh, that we're going to get to that on day four. So let's look forward a little bit. And we're going to talk about um, Tubi. So when we go on to Tubi, I got a brand as a filmmaker. And I put my movies together a certain way. So I put a couple movies together using a lot of different people. But then certain places, I'm not putting some of my movies because I don't want it to reflect bad on my brand. If you understand what I'm saying. So with this movement, the people out of the God body community, that's actually big, being the most beneficial, bringing all the core members in or, you know, being a, a, a core part of the real ass movement. I'm going to put them in the movie. But other than that, in a movie, I usually put celebrities in the movie. You know what I'm saying? So like, I got Carl Payne in the movie. I got Spanky Hayes from Wildin' Out in the movie. I got Tommy Chun in the movie. I got Comedy oh, I know. Hill in the movie. Uh -huh. I got Kiva. I got I damn Kiva in the movie. You know, I got I got a whole bunch of celebrities that I've been working with in movies. But so I like to put them in. That's what make the movie go. But when I got people on my team that's working hard, I make sure I put them in there and I put them front and center. So it'd be me, my team, and then it'd be some celebrities. And anybody else who want to pay could kind of get like a little bit like this because we, we raising funding. But that's the way I put my movies together. So when we when we going into this, know that you could actually get in a Tubi movie and get a lead ass role. But it'd be based off of you actually putting the work in. Right. And this is the last thing I want to I'm gonna go exactly one last exactly. thing with you guys. I'm about to actually I think I'm a screen share real quick. I'm going to show you all how I go to levels. It's levels to this shit. And that's what I think make it even more fun because it's it's still it's not so much competition as it is collaboration, but it is levels to this shit though. You feel me? So let me, I'm gonna give y'all this handbook too. Y'all get the handbook and y'all y'all homework is to look this handbook over. It got all the stuff from from what we about to do in the day for on it. But I like this right here. So let me let me get y'all screen sharing with me. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. How do I screen share y'all? Hold up. It's the option at the bottom. I don't even know where my screen at no more. I don't popped out this mug and I, I, okay. <laughs> 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 All right, let's screen share. So I'm about to screen share y'all. Hold up. Y'all can see my screen. Not yet. Hold on. Put down there left the meeting real quick. Hold on. Y'all can see my screen. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can? Yeah, it's a more than a meeting. All right, cool. So now I'm about to show y'all this handbook real quick. I can't even see the top of my screen, man. Hold up. Uh, yeah, right here. Okay. So this y'all handbook right here. Uh, it just tell you what we doing every day, day one, day two, day. Three. So we going over the echo technique tomorrow. That's the most powerful technique I know. So we're going to go over that tomorrow. Today, I was just showing y'all how we, what we doing. Okay, we're going to get 100 of the people we want around us. We're going to hit them up. We're going to hit them up with what I'm about to give y'all, the four secret questions. Uh, the echo technique, I'm going to teach y'all that tomorrow. Day four is social mastery. We're going to put it together. We're going to role play. And I want y'all to see how powerful it is. Actually, I'm going to do one with y'all before I jump off. Because we at 933. I went kind of fast. Then we got day five is graduation. We got a graduation day. So I hope y'all like that. Just uh, the pictures in there. Okay, so here go the levels right here. So uh, when you bring three people in, you an initiate, right? You an initiate right here. When you bring 13 people in, you become an advocate. When you bring in 100 people, you at leader, right? Once you get, once you, once you get to leader, uh, uh, you get a, right here, you get a tiara. We have a, we have a ceremony. And you 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 get your tiara right here. You get your princess. You this is a princess level or, or a prince level right here. Leader, conqueror. You act, if y'all don't, I don't know if you, if you know uh Brandy, but I I got crowns. I got a, a crown maker that make crowns for me, and they call me the Gorilla King. But what I'm doing is I'm using my royalty in this program to show that I'm giving out crowns based off of merit. They're gonna be real crowns. You're gonna get a crown and ceremony. You could fly in or you can come in or we'll send it to you, but I would rather you come and we crown you in the ceremony. But that's going to be on. And then once you get 500 fans, you, you get a crown and a scepter. That's when you're at king level. And since it's the Black Diamond program, you got the champ. When you become a champion, like on some Michael Jordan shit, when you have 13,000 real fans. Okay? 
Y'all got any kind y'all got any questions about that? No. How y'all feel about that, y'all? How you feel about getting the crown? I, I know mine's is coming. <laughs> you feel me? You feel me? Like the one thing I like about uh, when the year twenty three came in, all I could think about was Michael Jordan, and I knew that it was gonna be a champ, the year of the champions, because it's Michael Jordan, right? So all year I've been like, this year of the champion, I've been seeing Jordan shit everywhere. I seen Jordan movie come out. This has been, this has been all championship. I've been on championship mode myself. I just been in that mode. But then my man said something today, so I'm gonna say this to you guys today. He was like, well, what about Kobe? I'm like, he, I told him the 23 was Jordan. He was like, what about Kobe? I'm like, but it's like Jordan got a number. It's like, I'm like, but Kobe is 24. I'm like, oh, we going into 24. Next year is going to be another year of the champion. It's going to be 24. But one thing is going to be happening is niggas' money is going to go down. If y'all, if not y'all, but now I'm talking out to the community. If you guys are not getting and being a part of something that's powerful and productive, that's actually helping to do something, it's going to get really hard this winter, especially with COVID hitting right now. So link in with the God Body community, man. Take this serious. This is a way we're going to be able to do stuff through online, still be effective, still have community going, and still, be, still being able to make some money. That's important. You're going to be able to make some money through online using this and with us all at the same time, working together to make some money through this winter time. that's going to be hard. It's, it's going to be niggas not having money. They're not going to be moving around. It's going to be hard to make money, but we're going to have a system. We're just going to keep pulling them into our system. That's why it's important. we reaching out, keep pulling them to, into the system, getting them working and using it. Because if you use it, it's going to make some money. But anyway, I want to do this last thing. I want to jump off. I want to do a. Uh, I want to read the four questions to one of you guys. Which one of you guys want to uh, volunteer for this, so y'all can see it in action? Because I already know what the deal is. All right, mute your thing then, Cheddar. Brandy, you ready? Yeah. Four questions. Can I see your face? I want to see your face, Brandy. Okay. All right. Cool. Hold on, let me pull you back. Let me shut the screen share down so I can see you big. Okay, cool. So first question, first question. So it's a four question close is the first question. And these are really easy. It's not like no trick questions and nothing. It's just simple questions, right? So like if we was to fast forward, let's say like three months from now or like, like six months from now, I'm not going to say January. I'm going to say like March of next year. And you come in the program and everything, and you know what? Everything is going exactly how you want it to go. It's This came out perfect, right? What would that look like? Can you paint a picture for me so I can see it myself? Um, I mean, I think the picture would look like me with over 50K followers. Over 50K, um, okay. With, uh, if not more. Um, with, okay, um, well, if not more, okay. <laughs> coming through on all of my social media platforms. Um, okay. Yeah. Coming through on all your social media. Okay. Yeah. Then, you know, that would be like cool. that would be the most core thing you would like to get out of this for you to have 50k followers. That would be the biggest No, thing. I, I want a millions of followers to be honest. Okay. But a million? I, want okay. my, I like I want that for me. I, I want to go to sleep and they still be making money. Okay, you so you want to be able to go to sleep and still be making money. Yeah. So you want millions of followers and you want to be able to go to sleep and still be making money. And then it probably will come from the millions of followers, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So cool. And then like, what would you, like, what would you, what do you see yourself doing to where the followers and the money is coming? Um. So, you know, like I said, I, I've been building my own brand and working, advertising with other companies. But my long-term goal is I have a hair company. And I want it to be a, a billion dollar business. So you got a you got a hair company? Yes, I do. Okay, you want it to be a billion dollar business? I like that. Okay, so uh, you got a name for it? It's Candy Curls. Candy Curls, you already got it? Yep. What's going on with it? Um, so I quickly found out that if I wanted to sell hair and cater to men and women that I needed to take my business serious and go back to school. So I'm currently oh, in cosmetology man. school. Okay, cosmetology school. When you go into cosmetology school, what part of uh, what part of it? Huh? P and A scholar. Say, what is that? Say that again. P and A scholar. P and A scholar. 
That's the school? Yeah. Okay. So when you go into school and you're saying it was some parts that was missing out of your system, what parts are, are you looking to grab from that school real quick? Um, just attention to detail with my technique. You know, when dying, okay. cutting, just I want to perfect everything. You want to be better with your own style and you go to school yeah. for that. Okay. All right. Cool. But you already got clients coming. Yes. Okay. That's cool. cool. Okay. So that's the first question. I just kind of wanted to see. So you'll have your business up and running. You'll have a whole bunch of fans and followers and you'll be making money in your sleep. That's it? Correct. Yes. All right. So it seems like you got a pretty good visual of what that looks like. I, I just want to ask, what, why would you say it haven't manifested for you so far? What's been blocking it? Um, I don't want to say blocking it, but I've been focusing more on building my family and getting them to an age to where when I get to grinding and everything they understand like mom is my hair she work at 18 hours she's doing all these things because she's attempting to create generational wealth okay so you're self-sufficient i'm chasing my dream okay you're attempting so i'm i'm just getting a i'm getting a uh a, a, a picture of it so you like basically it's not a block it's not a block it's it's basically you it's paying focusing on your kids right now so you can get them to a point to when you're gone it's kind of automated and they still feel your presence but you grind it and you keep and you grind it to get the generational wealth so that they'd be straight anyway correct yeah like that okay all right cool generational wealth so that's the number two so so your thing was it's not that it's not that not doing it but it's about focusing over here and that's what i hasn't done so you you're thinking right now you're at a point where you're ready to go to the next level right i'm at a point where i'm ready to prioritize my dreams and what i want to do okay cool prioritize your dreams yeah yeah and what you want to do that makes sense all right so so now the third question is what are there any skills resources talents or abilities that you have right now or that you got access to that maybe you're not tapping into fully that we could use to help you manifest that vision? Um, yes and no. I feel like I'm tapping into the skills that I need to brush up on. What I currently have is good, but it's not great, right? Okay. So I, I want to be great. What about connections? Any people that you know that maybe could help you get to? So your thing is, I'm, I'm looking at the vision, 50,000 or millions of followers, uh, a business generating, a hair business generating money. Is it any people or connections that maybe you, you, you're not used, utilizing to the fullest that could help that be come out? Maybe people, maybe? Um, people oh. definitely would be the number one. I'm not, um, I network very good but then whenever it comes to asking for business advice not everyone who I'm around thinks you know with a business mindset so I don't want to get the wrong advice okay I see what you're saying so it's like people around and then you don't want it's like you could network with them but you might you don't want to get that bad advice in your head because it might throw you off yeah okay I see what you're saying so but it, 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 what about situations? There's some situations maybe in there that 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 could help that manifestation come out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know I've I've been introduced to um, doing pop ups and okay all kind of things. Um, before I started with this social media stuff, one of my friends kind of put me up on the social media like, hey, you can make commercials for companies. You can do X, Y, and Z. Put your products up there. So, you know, it was a lot of people who along the way kind of gave me advice on how to put myself out there and build a brand. Okay. I see I see it coming back to advice and that being big. I looked in the uh in a financial dictionary, advice is actually considered money. In a real ass dictionary, advice is considered money. If you're giving somebody advice, you're giving them money. Yeah. That's that's something else. But okay, so so the last question would be, you know, because I'm looking at all of these things. And I, I'm pretty sure that this program could help kind of bridge that system a little bit for you because it's like, okay, a lot of followers. We doing a lot of promotion. You know what I'm saying? Business. We we approaching business people with a program to help them bring people to their business. 
So right. now we got more business people in the network and we're trying to raise entrepreneurs inside the midst of the community. That's the whole point is to find entrepreneurs. And not everybody's going to be entrepreneurs. Everybody can make more money. Not everybody's going to be an entrepreneur, but we're trying to in install that mindset into the people, though. You see, right. but anyway, the last question would be, uh, do you want us to help you? Yes. <laughs> Bang. We got a, we got a yes. Yeah. We got a yes. <laughs> so, boom, that was, that was, that's an example of the drill 100. Okay. See? Okay. See, and we got a smiling yes. Bam, that's lovely. It's just a smooth conversation, okay? <laughs> that's it. But anyway, any so if we got any any, so I'm a I'm gonna wrap it so it's not too long. Hopefully, you guys come back tomorrow because we're gonna train all the way five days. If you got any questions or anybody got any questions, any comments, anything, email me. If and just leave it in the group. That's what the God Body Group is for, or in the Heat Seekers Group. And then I'm gonna catch you guys later. I love y'all. Yay. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>